Welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and use Midnight Commander. It is a text based file manager for Linux system, which means you don't need any graphical user interface environment to use this file manager because it is a text based file manager. So, you don't need GUI. By using this file manager, we can able to perform some file operations like copy, delete, move, rename, file permissions, and file ownership, and etc. Now run the following command to install Midnight Commander. m space install space mc space hyphen y and hit enter. Now the package is installing. Wait for some time. Here you can see now the package is installed. Now we can able to use the Midnight Commander file manager by running the following command mc and hit enter. Here you can see the Midnight Commander file manager. This tool was designed in text user interface mode. So we don't need any GUI mode to use this tool. Here you will find two columns. Here these two columns will represent the current working directory. You can work with any one of this column. I will work with left side column. Here we are in the current directory slash root. Here you can see the directories and files listed under slash root directory. Here you can open any directory. You just highlight the directory you want to open and then hit enter to open the directory to go back just highlight this two dot symbol and hit enter these are the directories and these are the files located under slash root in the right side column also the current directory is slash root here you can see the options this one is for left column this one is for right column here you can see this file panel will represent the file operations we can able to perform this is the command panel will represent the commands we can able to perform this panel is for options to choose between these two columns you can click here by using your mouse cursor or you can able to press the tab button for switching between these two columns. Here are the options we can able to perform. Here this number represents the key for F1, F2, F3 like that. If you want to copy a file you need to press F5 button to create a directory you need to press F7 button and F8 is for delete now I will create a directory in desktop now press F7 button to create directory and mention the directory name you want to create and here press ok now the directory is created to delete the directory you need to highlight the directory and press F8 button to delete. Now choose the yes option and hit enter. Now the directory is deleted. Here you can see. Now the directory is deleted. Next to copy a directory, you just select the directory and press F5 to copy. If you want to copy more than one directory, you need to highlight the directory and press insert button and now choose the second directory and press insert button now the two directories selected for copying now press F5 to copy the directory and here mention the path where you want to copy to now I will copy the directory into the path slash root now here choose ok and hit enter. Now the directory is copied. 
let's go back to the root directory here you can see this is the copied directory if you want to rename or move a directory you need to press F6 button now press F6 and here if you mention any name for the directory the directory will be renamed now type the name and choose ok and hit enter here you can see now the directory is renamed if you want to move the directory you need to use the same option F6 button and here we need to mention the directory path where you want to move to the directory if you mention the name means the directory will be renamed if you mention any path means the directory will be moved to the path now choose ok and hit enter now the directory is moved let's check it here you can see this directory is moved here and now come back to root directory here you can see I have a file you can able to view the content of the file by pressing the option F3 button here it shows the content for the file here you can see the options you can able to use it here if you press F4 button means it will show you the hexadecimal format now again press F4 button to view the ASCII format now press F3 button to quit you can able to edit any file by pressing the F4 button here you can add any content and the press F2 button to save the file now hit enter now the file is saved now quit now view the content for the same file press F3 here you can see now the content is modified now press F3 for quit you can able to set the file permissions and the file ownership in midnight commander for that press F9 button and here choose the file panel here choose the ch mode here you can see here you can able to set the permissions for the file you can press space button now I will remove the read permission for others and now select this and hit enter you can choose ch phone to set for the ownership here you can choose user ownership root and press tab for changing group ownership and choose it here now select this and hit enter we can able to use this right side column for FTP connections now press F9 here choose right panel now here choose FTP link hit enter here you need to mention the host name or IP address for your FTP server I will type the IP address for my FTP server and choose ok now hit enter here you can see now my right side column is connected to my FTP server so you have learned how to use midnight commander file manager in your Linux system hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching